The word afterburner refers to excess power after ignition that is omitted once all resources are extinguished. I'm using this word afterburner to describe an attitude that takes flight after the fire is lit. It shapes, destroys and forms. These metamorphic capacities allow the artworks in Afterburner to appear unpredictable, plastically traversing the mediums of sculpture, painting and sound, playing with the form of change itself. As an attitude, Afterburner relates to a style of movement in the way our mind and body moves in a particular way when we have this particular attitude. For me, this attitude is particular to feminine creativity. My new paintings developed from performing practice embodied theory, which involved making responsive drawings to words describing afterburner's behaviour. Words such as inside out, upside down, sideless, inversion, subversion and detour, which are all words that encompass gestural movement. For me, these words describe how feminine creativity moves to find a way around, a way in and a way out of existing feminine forms historically defined by white male Western European thought. The drawings that I made for the paintings were reversed, fragmented and distorted. Smudged details became a whole composition, plastically forming the sketch as the final work. The nature of ceramics involves burning together the languages of clay and painting, which means there is an element of destructive risk. In this way, the instruments have their own attitude and decide their own shapes and sounds. Some choose to remain silent while others make a high-pitched scream. When they are played, the sounds they make also depend on the attitude of the person playing them. This process of continuous imaginative exchange seems to me fundamental to feminine creativity.